A few years ago, the Social Capital Project released its Social Capital Index, a tool that measures the health of associational life across the United States. Overall, Utah ranks as the state with the highest social capital among the 50 states. Utah's robust associational life is likely connected to the history of many of its people, whose ancestors pioneered to the Salt Lake Valley in the mid-1800s to seek religious freedom and build a united religious community. The index uses several categories to measure social capital at the state level. Utah topped the list in three of them, family unity, social support, and philanthropic health. It ranked within the top 10 in three others, family interaction, collective efficacy, and community health. Utah's strong social capital has been in action during the COVID-19 pandemic, as Utahns have relied on neighbors, businesses, and philanthropies to make it through. For instance, O.C. Tanner, a Utah-based jeweler, has shifted to manufacturing critical personal protective equipment, such as face shields and ventilator parts, which are much needed by healthcare workers nationwide. Food banks have sprung up all across Utah, organized by school districts and foundations, or the food bank, in partnership with private businesses. In April, one emergency food bank served more than 5,000 families, supporting more than 29,000 Utahns. Project Protect, a partnership between Latter-day Saint Charities, Intermountain Healthcare, and the University of Utah Health System, has recruited over 30,000 volunteers to make over 3 million face masks for Utah's frontline health workers. The COVID-19 pandemic has demonstrated once again that Utah is a state rich in social capital. Families are strong, individuals are socially connected and trust their neighbors, charitable contributions are high, violent crime is low, and people are volunteering in their communities and helping their neighbors.